everybody, it's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I have a new, another new product from the mini catalog that is coming up on August 3rd. Um, it is the cutest Halloween stamp set along with the Halloween punch and the cute Halloween 6x6 designer series paper. I'll go through this. This is some cute bats. There's not a bat on this. It is a pumpkin, a kitty, a ghost, and a skeleton, um, and a little spider. But these bats are adorable too. I love them. All right, so this is the front and back. Oops, sorry, it's a little bit mixed up. Okay. So I also used, um, this is a little treat holder, and inside are these, I don't know if you can see them, but they're little licorice cats, which I love. Um, a lot of kids don't love them, and a lot of adults don't like li black licorice either, but I've always loved black licorice. And I saw these little kittens that would go along with this little kitty, and I wanted to do a project with them. So this box opens up just like this. And you can get, or you could just slip out your treat out the side also. All right, so it closes over like that, and then you tie the ribbon just like that. All righty. I also use, this is from still in the um, annual catalog. It is the glittered organdy ribbon. They did have this new ribbon, which is so adorable. It is uh, black and white gingham ribbon. But with all the busyness on the paper I chose, I didn't want to use this too. So uh, let me just get it open. Goodness gracious, I can't see the, because of the fabric, I can't see the edge of the film. There we go. All right. And this is really cute. This is, is it, it's, it's a quarter inch. So this is really cute. Um, again, I didn't want to use it because I thought this paper was busy enough. But I wanted to show you the ribbon that comes along with these products in the same suite. Um, I also used the Frightful Tags dies, and that's this This one right here goes right there. They're adorable. There's also a stamp set that goes to this, um, but I, I used the um, spider web. I used the Layering Circle dies. Now, this tag is also from this set. Where did I put it? Right here, which I love this tag. I'll be using this for Christmas and every day. I love it. I hope this stays and it doesn't get retired after this catalog is over. Hopefully it will. Um, but I used, let's see, I want to show you what we need here. We need, with that die, I cut um, a label out of Gorgeous Grape. I cut, I cut the spider web out of Pumpkin Pie and the scalloped circle using layering circle dies and it is two and a quarter inches out of basic black. All right. You need two pieces of the DSP. Now you can get both boxes out of one piece of six by six DSP if you don't mind that this goes this way on one piece. I was going to put this one in the back and I mistakenly put it on the front, but I think it looks good because the, the lines are going different directions. But if you want them all, the front and the back, the same, you'll only get one and you'll have a little bit extra out of a six by six sheet. But you could also get two out of one sheet of cardstock. So that's great too. All right, so you need, for one of them, you need two pieces that are three and three quarters by two. Oops, I only need one of these. And one piece that is three quarters by two. Yep, yeah. alrighty. We need a piece of pumpkin pie that is 10 inches by four and a quarter and then some basic white for stamping. I'm gonna show you how I stamp uh, the cat on here, but for the project, I just used the punch, and the punch will do the ghosts and the skeletons and the pumpkins and the cat. You can do some of them on the same exact size as the punch, so you don't even have to do stamping if you don't want to. Alrighty, 
So let's get started here with my cardstock first. All right. So we need the Simply Scored and our piece of cardstock that is 10 inches. If I said 10 and a half before, I'm sorry. It's 10 inches by four and a quarter. All right. And we're going to start on the 10 inch side and we're going to score at four, five, and nine. Then we're going to turn it to the four and a quarter side and score at one and three and a quarter. Now, turn it back to the 10 inch side you had it on, and we're going to score only to the first score line at two and a half and six and a half. Okay, turn it 180 to the other side of the 10 inch side and score at three and a half and seven and a half. Ready? Now we're just going to fold and burnish all the lines that go all the way across, not the partial score lines. Okay. Now, how we have it is there is a one inch strip on the left hand side and a one inch strip here and a one inch strip there. All right, and this is what we're going to do. All righty, so we're going to take away this square and this rectangle on both sides, and then just this rectangle on this side. All righty, so again, we're going to start with the, a one inch square on the left and a one inch long strips on the top and bottom. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to count one, go to that second partial score line, and cut it up to the first score line. And then we're going to cut straight and get rid of all that. All righty. Then this rectangle, we're just going to keep both sides of that straight. Go to the other side of this square, cut it straight to the first score line there, and then just wedge a little bit out of each side. Alrighty, go to the other side of this rectangle, cut it straight, and then we're going to get rid of this longer rectangle. Okay, so that's how that side looks. Now we're going to turn it around. And we're going to start on the left hand side again. We're going to get rid of this rectangle here. So we're going to go over to the partial score line, cut it to the first score line you come to, and get rid of this rectangle here. Okay, we're going to cut the other side of this rectangle straight, move to the other side of the square cut that side straight and then wedge the square that's in the middle here. All right. Go to the other side of this rectangle, cut it straight, and then we're going to remove this long rectangle and the square. Okay, so that's what your card stuff should look like after you're finished cutting, uh, scoring, and cutting. Okay, now we're going to attach our DSP. Like that okay with some liquid glue, and I'm going to put the long pieces here and the short piece on the flap. Okay. Okay, now we need some tear and tape.
We're going to put it on the tabs. Okay, and then which is going to be our front? This is going to be our front. So we want to put tear and tape on the these flaps here that are on the, the piece that does not have the the um, fold over flap. Okay, so we're going to put some tear and tape on the other side of these, which you could figure this out after. It's just a little bit more awkward to put the tape on when half of it is together. Okay. Take your pick tool and I'm just going to connect these. Right, and we want to connect these flaps to the these that are on the um, back of the box, which has the front flap at the top. Okay, so we're going to take this line here and make it straight with this line. Okay, that's the side with the flap at the top. Okay, and now we're going to take the cover off the tear and tape on these flaps. And we're going to make this line straight with the back, okay? That. And you could put little pieces of DSP on there, but I thought it looked good without it. Alrighty. Alright. Now I'm going to put my cats in there. You can put, I'm going to put just a little strip of um, stamp and seal plus just to make sure it stays in there nicely. I'm just going to put it down in there. You could put whatever candy will fit. You, I, I put um, where is it? this candy. Here it is. This is the licorice cats. I just took them out of this package and I put them in these um, little um, whip and tape bags that I've had for a while from Amazon. And they seal, but they're not the right size, so I just fold it over and retape it again. All right. Now, this is how it's going to close, just like this. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put two holes in this flap with this. This is a, I think, 1 8 inch hole punch. I'm just going to put two holes that I'm going to tie the ribbon through. And then I'm going to get a pencil. And I'm just going to make a mark where those holes are in just the front piece here. And then I'm going to punch them again. And then I'm going to get my glittered organdy ribbon and I'm going to cut a 12 inch piece. And I'm going to put it from the inside, both sides, I'm going to put through from the inside out. Now, you also could just put a Velcro dot here and here and not punch any holes and then just put a glue dot. Just make a bow and a glue dotted bow on that if you want to make it easier to open. But I wanted to do this today. All right, and then they just go through this. And they can squeeze this out the side if they don't want to do the bow. Close it and pull it, and then just tie your bow. And that's the box. And the actual box measures four by one by two and a quarter. All right, so now let's do a little bit of stamping and things. So we need our basic white, and I'm going to use the um, Stampin' Pierce mat. 
and we need now I'm going to show you how to stamp the kitty two ways all right so first we're going to do the outline I'm going to do it twice so I can show you both ways to do it one and this is um, smoky slate all right and then we need the fill in so you're gonna for for a darker kitty excuse my head sorry you're going to just stamp it on there okay for oh I didn't have to do that <laughs> then you could use the stamped off piece to make a lighter kitty in there okay so he's like a light gray and he's a gray or a black cat Ready? then so that's those two and then for the cute little face I use the tuxedo black so cute I love it okay so that's how to I, I would stamp those and you can always do them in different colors to make them brown kitties or whatever kitties but Halloween is kind of black cat kind of thing all right and then just cut these and we can cut them with the punch I do love punches because if you're going to make a bunch, it's much quicker than having to use one die a lot. <laughs> and there's your two kitties, a light gray and a dark one. But for this project, I'm going to use the designer series paper, which again is cute Halloween. And I'm just going to cut out a cat. And then figure out what I have to do to make them sit, stick in there. Okay, I have to put. He has to go in like that. So I'm just going to put him on a post it note. Just like that. It doesn't matter if you have to cut the post it note too. So he has to go in upside down. Okay, and then you just find where you need it to be. And then just pop them out. Take off your post-it note pieces. And there's that kitty from the paper. Alrighty. Okay, so now we need, I'm going to use this kitty. I'll save these for another project. Now we need our gorgeous grape label that was cut using the uh -oh, Frightful Tags dies. Alrighty, so now I'm going to get the sentiment, which is, you put a smile on my face, and the tuxedo black ink again, and I'm going to center this at the top. And then I'm just going to take a pop dot put it on the back of my kitty I'm going to put the kitty's face right there underneath all right now we need the basic black scalloped circle and the orange spider web and I'm just going to put a dab of glue in the middle here just to secure it And then I'm going to put two dimensionals on the back of the tag. And that will also help to secure the spider web. Alrighty. And then put two more dimensionals on the back of our scallop circle. 
And then I'm just going to center this right on the bottom, sorry, bottom of the box. There we go. And then for the final touch, I have these cute, it says cute stores adhesive back sequins. All right, and I'm going to take a couple of orange ones. I think I use this pointy one because it's like a little, it's a little, uh, almost a tiny glue dot on the back. I'm going to put one there. Oops. I lost it. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. One right here. Oh my goodness, they're flying. There it is. And one right here next to the kitty. And that's it. And that's a whole bunch of new products that are in the mini catalog that when you receive the catalog, it's going to say July to December, but it's it's really going to be August 3rd to December because they had some problems with um, supplying all the things due to COVID and all of that. But We'll still have that, and they will still have um, till the end of September for the celebration products, which is fifty dollars or more. You get um, every fifty dollars, you get a pick of something, um, and there is lots of cute little goodies to get. Please subscribe and hit the like button, and if you don't want to miss any of my videos, you can hit the notification bell, and if you would need a demonstrator and you'd like to purchase any of these products, my address is at the top of the screen. I appreciate any business. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Have a great weekend. Bye.